Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Timberborn, where last time we built the Infinity Lodge. A super massive beaver lodge that can house almost a thousand beavers. And we built this because we have effectively infinite resources. We have infinite locks. We have infinite water. And we can do anything we possibly want. Which is why today we're going to be working on something so ambitious it could possibly destroy our colony. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. And also, other cool ideas here. But we have infinite power in Lake Sippy 2 with all these water wheels. And we can always expand the water wheels in the other direction. So I was like, hey, the other districts could use that power too. So I built a bunch of extra log support things to transfer the power to the other districts. So now every district has infinite power. And we're gonna need every district with a lot of power because we're gonna need just everything. Everything. All the materials that we have available are gonna be used up very quickly. Because while I was building the Infinity Lodge over here, I was kind of looking around the map and I saw this area. Just over here. And doesn't this look like a super fun buildable area? Yeah! But the problem is, there's no sippy drink. All of the water is all down here. We can't bring the water from down here to up here easily. But we do have one convenient thing going for us, and that's that we have a water source right over here. So <laughs> the idea is to bring the water from here across this chasm over to here. Though that's easier said than done. Bringing the water across A will require a megastructure of gargantuan proportions, and then we have to redirect all the water in the world from this river to somewhere else. But we'll figure things out. I have some ideas. But getting started here, we need to make a work site out of this entire area. So we're gonna build a district that is literally going to be for this one project. So we got houses, we got a trading post, we have storage. Built this huge new staircase so we can bring stuff down to supply these people. And they're gonna be working on clearing out all of these trees that are in the way. At least to start. And we need them to have water. So I'm gonna build these workers a little lake sippy. Or more so like a reservoir just over here. And it's looking like we're gonna have this done just in time. 0.4 days until the drought ends. Good! And like we did with Lake Sippy, we're just gonna build a bunch of these. Just on top. We'll build some farmhouses and probably some water extractors here too. And our workstation is now complete. We have farms, we got carrots, we're bringing in all the resources. We really need to keep this area alive. And I'm starting to build up all of the freaking builder's huts we possibly can. Like everybody in this district will be working on this one mega project here. So let's get started. So we're going to build kind of like an aqueduct going from here all the way over to here, because it's like the shortest distance. We'll have to blast away a bit of this hill, but that's fine. It's just gonna be such a massive ordeal. So this will come over this way. This will come over that way. And then we're gonna have to build this all the way up here. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be insane. Wait, wait. If I build this wall, then they can't build that wall. So we have to be really smart about building this place. Yeah, let's get rid of this all. Can't have that just yet. Goodbye. And they have to build this first. Also, as this gets taller and taller, they're not going to be able to reach up higher. So we're going to have to build a ton of scaffolding for this project too. So they're off to the races. Builders going nuts. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting little project. What do we do about the river in the middle here? We cannot block off this river until we are absolutely prepared. So, what can we do about the water? Well, if we're stopping the water from going in this direction, we need it to go somewhere else. So, what if we expanded the river going this way? Huh? 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 What a good idea! We'll just blast all the way over to here and have the water go over there. Simple. Then we won't flood the entire world. Let's do it! Detonate the new river. All of the water from the main river can now just redirect here, and we'll be fine. A couple more explosions to work on, but that's the gist. 
so it's looking pretty clear over here, meaning we can start up our new workstation. So we need builder's huts. So many builder's huts. We need to build this, well, I'd say quickly, but really it's just such a big project. It's going to take forever unless we have like 100 beavers building this. So builder's huts everywhere. Like at least four to start. And then we're going to need resources. Uh, the building district is getting delivered all its resources, but it needs more. It always will need more. So let's build a log storage pile. And then a large warehouse on top. Good. Because the levees we're building, they take about 12 logs. And then the scaffolding, in order to build the whole project, takes the planks as well. So we have to bring all of our civilization's resources over here. And to make things get transported faster, we're just going to have a bunch of drop-off points. There we go. So we'll build two for now. Then in all of our other districts, we have our distribution posts, like this one. And they just need employees. So we'll get our population up a little bit so we can get all that tasty lumber to where it needs to be. Design-wise though, let's continue work on this. So just a straight line of levees, so nothing too complicated. Now we'll go to here, there, build up and over this hill, and then to here. That should be good. We'll probably redesign a few things so we can have staircases up to here because this needs to be built all the way up to this area and beyond. Big project. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Well, that's just the time consuming part. The scary part is building this entire project or completing it at the perfect time. So we need the water to always be flowing through here while we're building this. But when we want to complete this and stop the river, we need to close this thing up as fast as possible and have that other river we're building complete too. Well, that's going to take a bit, so let's just keep on building bricks. Wow, look at the insanity of this project. It's so massive. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> I learned something mission critical though. So you know all this scaffolding I've been building this whole time? Yeah, that's pretty much pointless. Fun fact, if the beavers can work above, like, a work site, like, say they go and they want to work on this block here, if they're on top of this block here, they can work infinitely downwards. So say they're on this cliff, they could build something down here. So same thing with the dam. So in reality, what I should have just done is I should have just built the levees started at the top, and then worked my way down over this way. But instead, I, I built all the scaffolding and tried to build up. And I should build down. Whoops! You live and you learn. At least things are going really quickly. I got builder sets out the Huazu. We have so many distribution posts that we're actually going down on resources. It's crazy. And this should be done in maybe like a cycle or two. And once it is, the rest of the explosives are pretty much prepped and ready to go for our new river. We'll just break the levees over here when the time comes and the water will go out that way. Oh no though, a poor little beaver got stuck in the scaffolding. Oh no. Well, I'm not spending the time to save them. So bye. Bye? <laughs> and hello to our new mega aqueduct, which is pretty much complete. We have floodgates over here to let out the water when the time comes. All the scaffolding, I'll have to get rid of that. And we'll just have to finish up a few little bits and bobs here and there. But for the most part, the structure's good to go. Next, we need explosives. We need to prep this crater area. We need the water to be able to flow through here, go somewhere, and then just go out this way. We'll just, I don't know, we'll just blow a hole through the cliffside here. The water will go to the river, it'll be fine. And we want to harvest all the metal we possibly can. It's a limited resource in our world, so we want to get it out of here before all the explosives and water floods us all. So I had to build another entire district just to set all this stuff up. Got the TNT brought over, where we have beavers going to town on the metal, and we're shipping it out to store way over here. Just temporarily until we figure out what the heck to do with it. And for now, get blasting, brother! So we'll have to finish off all this blasting over some time, but that's okay. 
But now we just have to wait for everything to kick off. And that'll probably be at the next drought. And what will happen is we'll delete all of these um, platforms, replace them with levees, blocking off all the water, immediately go over to the other river area, blast this out so the water can flow a different way, and by the time the drought ends, we need both this and that river over there to be complete. Or else everything's just gonna flood and it's gonna cause a complete disaster. And now it's time to strike! We have a drought. Perfect. There's not gonna be any water, meaning we can finish the aqueduct and hopefully complete things before our entire world floods. Here's hoping though that's gonna be like a nine day drought. That would be perfect! But okay, no time to spare. Let's go over this way and complete this river. Explosives, detonate! Faster. Oh, that's lagging. <laughs> awesome. Wait, one wasn't built! Uh-oh. Don't have time. We have to keep going. Good. Good. Explosives going off. We have a couple days here. Good. I should have actually just had this done beforehand. Why didn't I? Why didn't I? Oh, wow, what an incredible waste of time that was. Detonate! Go, go, go! Still got a bit of time, though. So now it's time to break the levee. That's gonna let all the water go down over this way, and then who cares, right? Kind of. I care. Can I delete this? Yup. Yup. Hello, sippy drink. What's going on? We definitely want a dam over here as well. Alright, good. Timing on that is not as important. And there begins the flood. I suppose we should be draining Lake Sippy as we're about to enter a drought, but it's gonna be fine. It's ride or die with this whole project anyway. Oh, uh, we shouldn't be watching this. We should be working on other things. I don't care. It's too cool. I think at the end of the day, most of this is gonna be flooded. We might be doing ourselves a super big solid in the future here. Oh, but it's flooding over here too. Okay, that is a lot of flooding. But most of it's just going off the map, so no big deal. Cause now it is time to strike. We have to build this levee as fast as possible. So let's get this set up and rock and roll, brother. And we're starting the project right before the drought. Excellent. How much lumber do we have in this district just on hold? 70. Se that, that was it. 70. Okay. And we might be okay. Just depends on how long the drought is. Please, just give me like seven days. Oh my gosh. That's enough time. Not perfect, but definitely enough time. So there goes all the water. And how is the damage to Lake Sippy? Are we actually going to be fine? We should be fine. Lake Sippy is crazy. Oh yeah. Plenty of water still in there. Fantastic. Uh, these will be great for later. Good, 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 good. Flooding has stopped. Oh my gosh, though. No one's working on this. Why? These beavers are too slow. We need the workers from this temporary district. Help. Help them now. But we're only like 25% done of the project here. Still so much to do. But things are looking good. We're over halfway done now. And now just 25% of the project is left. And three... Two, one, and we've done it. Oh, mission complete. Still with two and a half days left. Kind of cut it close, but it's done. We have made the ultimate aqueduct. Wow, what an impressive project. Now, hopefully it doesn't destroy our world. And to quickly reiterate the plan, we want all of the water from Lake Sippy to be split between the right and the left. So we want most of the water, I suppose, going down this way and out over there. So it's out of the way. Because if it all goes down to the right, it's gonna cause a bunch of flooding because now it has nowhere to go. You know what I just realized, though? We have- wait! Oh my gosh! Ah! No! We need the water flowing this way, too! Because we need it down here, or else these trees will die. Wait a second. How do we stop this? We only have two dates. So that gives us literally one option. We have to get rid of all these trees. Goodbye, trees. We need to make levees in here. Heck, we need levees everywhere. So we need the levee to go up to this height here, all the way down here. And then we need a wall blocking off this river, because this river is gonna get like twice the height now. Yeah, because it has to go over here and then flow out over this way. Or we could do something super risky and maybe we could just get explosives out here and make the river right now. But I'm 99% sure this is way out of district range and that's not gonna be able to be reached. 
But YOLO, we gotta try. Go, 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 go! And we need to high prioritize this. This is like the most mission critical thing. So one of two things is gonna happen. We're gonna get rid of the trees first, or we're gonna be able to plant these explosives before everything floods. Is that in district range? Away from builders, new district. I think we need a new district. Or maybe once the staircase is complete, it'll be in range. Please? Come on. Come on. Yes, yes, it's not saying no. There's no way it could reach, oh, it can't reach down here. What if we just built the path, huh? Huh? Come on, game. Come on, game. Too far. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. We just need a district right now. Add route to there, explosives, yes. The drought's over. The flooding's restarting quickly, get them. Where are they? Where are they? There we go, get them over. Yep, put them in there. You guys, build this. Good, good. We need three more shipments, there's, oh, there we go, bud. There we go, bud. Just in the nick of time. Beaver, please, for the love of anything. Let's go! Oh. We did it. We saved the world. So now the water can go out that way. But I wonder if that one by one channel can handle the flow rate of the water. It might back up, might cause some flooding. Uh, we're gonna have to see. Now we'll just fill up Lake Sippy and we're gonna have plenty of time. And once that fills up, we'll destroy these two levees and we'll start flooding this huge canal. And hopefully flooding over into this area doesn't cause any significant problems. Smile. In the meantime, this is taking a while to set up. Let's build some levees over here and prepare for this other plan to fail. Because it, it might. And considering this is like the one scenario that could destroy our entire colony, I'm not really looking into taking risks right now. Okay, but the water's flowing. This huge, wow. Uh, we're making uh, pretty much a new Lake Sippy over here, kind of unintentionally. This is going over and hitting the wall. This is starting to flood up. This side's all gonna be fine. Is the new river flowing? No, because the floodgates are up right now. Good, good, good. On oh, the water over here, I think is rising up. Slowly though. It's just once this area is full, which it kinda looks like, this area is gonna start filling up pretty quick. Okay, you know what? This is still looking good. Even with this other side filled, this is still going well. I just have to keep an eye on this area and if it will fill up. Which it shouldn't really. Like we have a, what is this, a three block wide gap here for water to leave? And a one block gap for water to come in? Yeah, that should be kind of it. But no matter, we're still making this backup plan. I don't care. I am not risking nothing. We have unlimited materials. Why would we not make these kinds of backup plans, right? Oh, and then, oh my goodness, these beavers. Why? Yep, they can't get through the platforms. They're just stuck. I love after all of my worrying. I'd say most of the beavers have died actually constructing all these projects and not from nature itself. Oof, and off they go. But this is all looking good. Water is flowing through here just fine. We have the double emergency there. The water's still flowing through here. Lake Sippy's going crazy. Uh, we still have our emergency option over on the left side and I think it is time to fill up the aqueduct. So goodbye levees. And let's drop down the floodgates. All right, what nightmares will this cause us at the end of the day? Hmm, let me let me literally think about this. What could possibly go wrong here? Nothing. The water's gonna go up like to this square. Then it's gonna go across, yeah. We have this blasted out. You already saw from the other area that this one tile should handle things fine. However, if something goes wrong and we have to destroy this levee, all this water will flood out and that would be spooky. Oh, here we go. It's filled up enough so it's going over this way. Good, good, good. And now where will the water go? Just go down this way to the river, please. That Just make my life simple. Oh, it's going literally all over the place. Great. Okay, going all over the place here. I suppose it's fine. Because it's hitting the river eventually. Is it going to flood all of this? No. No, it's hitting mostly the river. Good. Flooded a lot of area, but this could get under control in the future. 
and off it goes. Okay, I think that is good. How are things looking up here? Oh my god, why? What? Oh, what the heck? The ruins have greenery on them when the water touches them. That's pretty cool. Well, we do not want this area filling up yet, so please stop this immediately. Or wait, you know what? Wait a second. No, delete this right now. We can finish up the project over here and just let the water flow out. All we gotta do is close the gates. Boop, no more water. And then the rest of the water will flow over that way. No problem at all. I guess the only problem really is so long as we have these gates fully open, not a lot of water, if any water, is flowing over this way. So I guess we'll have to strike some kind of equilibrium between the water flowing in this direction and this direction. But that's a problem for later. Because for the most part, I would say that this has been a tremendous success. Lake Sippy didn't end up exploding. We have a backup runoff river at the ready. And now that we have this super massive aqueduct, we can make another mega district in this pit. Which we'll do next time. So hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye.